Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That's all right. Listen, I don't know what to tell you guys. Life has been crazy lately. Like, if you could just, like, look at the last few months, it's just, it, when it rains, it pours. Okay, there's good, there's bad. There's just a lot going on. But yes, this video is not clickbait. We are shutting down the Beefcake Jerky HQ. We are done with it. Uh, you can tell I'm standing in the storefront. If you guys have been following along, this was like an old newspaper building. We fully renovated. We added windows. We painted. We polished the floor. We ripped up the concrete. We made an entire series about running, renovating this area right here. And this was going to be the storefront where you guys could come hang out with us, maybe test some new flavors of jerky, okay? Hang out, do a little bit of shopping, okay? And then back there, we've got offices. We've got offices and then the warehouse, in case you're new here. But if you're not, you, you get it. Banjo's office here. Matt's office. Like, we have conference and we've got everything. So, we're shutting it down. We are officially shutting it down. And obviously, you guys are wondering, why, Flair? Why would you do this? Why would you buy this building, not even a year ago, completely renovate it, run your jerky operation out of it, and then close up the doors in like 10, 10 months? Why? Explain to me, Flair. You owe us an explanation. You're right. I do. Because you guys have been commenting, we need an update on the storefront, and I haven't given you guys one because we aren't doing the storefront. Here, we're not doing the storefront. We are gonna be doing a storefront somewhere else, okay? Let me back up a little bit, okay? I'm getting a little bit of ahead of myself. So, as you guys know, we run out of jerky a lot, okay? This place is at capacity. Okay, remember when I bought it? If you guys watch those videos, I remember saying, listen, I spent a little too much on this building, but at least I know I won't run out of space. Wrong, we ran out of space, okay? So we run out of jerky a lot because we can't store enough here. And if you guys know anything about jerky, it's gotta be like halfway climate controlled. You can't just go throw them in shipping containers outside and let the mice get to them, okay? Like there's there's rules with this stuff. And so we've looked at other spaces, we've looked at other storage options where like maybe we just do all the fulfillment out of here but that we store it somewhere else. And that was kind of a logistical nightmare because I'm like, someone's gotta get a semi then because then we're going back and forth. It's like, was it really worth that? So my goal here with Beefcake Jerky is to grow it as you guys guys need it, okay, right? Like, we can't keep it in stock because we can't have enough supply here. Now, our manufacturer, since partnering with them, has ramped up production, and they're able to keep up, but we don't have the space. So, right before we started the actual building out of the storefront, right? We got this looking nice. I mean, I got way ahead of myself. It was winter. I was like, we're going to get some stuff done in the off season. And then it was like time to start actually ordering, you know, slat wall and, you know, little checkout counters and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? What happens if this thing doesn't slow down? What happens if we keep growing it? What happens if we got with more flavors, more products, and the thing keeps growing? What, do you really want to invest a bunch of money in the storefront and then have to move? Or is this a kind of a blank canvas to potentially sell to somebody? else, right? They can turn it whatever they want and you go find something bigger, okay, for the business. So then we started thinking about it. We started looking around. If you guys know anything about commercial real estate, slim pickings, dog. Like, like to find a big warehouse with a bunch of offices and a storefront in Omaha, pretty much impossible, okay? Especially when you like are trying to get it done ASAP, okay? So we were looking, we were looking, we found nothing and I was just like, you know what? Maybe we just, we just stay here. We just make it work. We fi we'll, we'll figure it out, right? Then, wah-bam, tornado hits the house, okay? So a little curveball action. We'll change up, okay? We got the tornado hit the house. So then I'm like, no offense, but screw the storefront. We got to focus on the house. We got to focus on the shop. We got to get all that stuff done. So as you guys know, my house got hit by a tornado. The shop like imploded and it had like tons and tons of stuff in there. All my tools, all my fishing gear, my hunting gear, I mean, it had, like crazy amounts of stuff in there. And so I was like, what do I do with all this stuff? Do I go rent an entire storage unit, unit facility? Do I go get a bunch of shipping containers? Or what about the shipping containers? Or maybe I can go just go do like a short term six to 12 month lease somewhere, put all my stuff and because we, we need like not only do you need a place to store, but you need like an operating shop, right? Like we, if we want to build something, I need to be able to build something. If we need to like work on something, we need to be able to work on something. So then my mind was like, maybe I should just look and see if there's like a, you know, big contractor type building available. Okay. And so we found one. And the, the, the best part is it's actually right next to the hunting lease. Okay. So I was like, this is perfect. I don't know how long it's going to take me to rebuild my shop. It might take a year or two. What if I just have my shop here right across the street is our hunting property where we do all the duck hunting, all the deer hunting. Okay. You guys saw us. That's where we built the huge 17 acre or 13 acre, 11 acre, the, the lake, the, the duck impoundment, that lake, okay, that place. I was like, what if we have the shop here? It's even closer to my house and we can drive a four wheeler and go hunting from the shop. This is perfect. So we went and took a look at it. It's great. It's going to work perfect for what I'm after. We can operate mine. It's way bigger than my shop. We will obviously not run out of space. This is great. And then I looked over next door and there was another building and I was like, who's there? Who does there, who, who's going to be the neighbor? And he's like, nobody. They're actually both for lease. And I was like, they're both for lease. So but you're telling me both of these buildings are for lease, right? Yeah. And it's next to the hunting property? Yeah. 
How big is that one? Big. I was like, oh, okay, so this is bigger than this building. Can I go take a look at it? Yeah, let's go take a look at it. We walk in there, there's offices everywhere. There's a huge warehouse. It's perfect. It comes on 10 acres and there's two buildings. So I can have my shop in one and potentially jerky in the other. And I was like, man, but there's no loading dock. Like, I don't, I, how, how are we gonna do that? He's like, get a forklift. I was like, why didn't I think of that? All the challenges we found in this building, we've come up with solutions for. I'm like, okay, get a forklift, no loading dock, okay. Uh, can, can, you know, can semis get in and out? Oh yeah, semis come out in and out here all the time. It's designed for that. Okay, so what, what, why couldn't we move in here? You can. What about a storefront though? I promised you guys a storefront. We have to have a storefront. Come into the lobby. There's, a, you can put a storefront right here. Maybe it's not as big as yours, but guess what? There's two lobbies because there's two buildings. So maybe you have two storefronts. I'm like, this might actually work. This might actually be the answer to our prayers of a bigger location that will allow us to not run out of jerky as often. I can't promise we're not gonna run out of stock, but as often gives me a place for my shop. Okay, where we can work. Gives me a place to run the jerky business and do all the fulfilling. And the best part is it's right next to the hunting lease. So we can go duck hunting in the morning and literally drive a four-wheeler to work every day. And the place is on 10 acres. So it's like, it's not in the middle of the city. We can go around and do things. We can work, we can play, we can do everything. And my shop's gonna be right next to it. So this seemed like a match made in heaven. And so that's basically what we're doing, okay? You look for silver linings and things, the tornado. Hey, I may not have a shop in my house. It may take a year or so to rebuild it, but guess what? It One thing led to another, which led to another, which turned into me leasing two buildings, okay? giant warehouses, one to run my shop out of, the other one to run jerky out of. There's tons of office space. There's even more warehouse space. Like I said, it's bigger, it's better. And the best part is it's right next to the hunting property. So with that being said, we are going to be moving. Okay. Um, like today, we're literally going to be start moving right now. We gathered up everything in the warehouse. We want to move as least amount of stuff as possible. So we're doing a moving sale. Okay. We went and gathered all the random hats, the random t-shirts, the random hoodies, and we made mystery bundles. And they're available on the website right now, beefcakejerky.com. So $69 to get you a random shirt. Okay, you gotta pick the size. A random hat and one of each flavor of jerky plus a sticker plus a, 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 a koozie. 69 bucks. It's like 40% off essentially. Now the $169 bundle is bigger. You're talking a hoodie. You're talking a hat. You're talking three of each flavor. Okay, we have six flavors times three. 18 bags of jerky plus three bags of dog jerky plus the koozie plus the decal. All in one mystery bundle. Now, for you real beefcakes out there, we threw a couple cases on there, okay? I'm just saying, listen, you have to be like an insane beefcake to do it, but it's a hundred bags, like literally how we get them from our manufacturer in a case. We just sh slap the shipping label straight on it and send it to you guys. So if you want a hundred bags of a specific flavor, maybe you're a big pork guy, teriyaki guy, maybe you're a big original guy, okay? Those are also gonna be heavily, heavily, heavily discounted. So again, we're trying to move the least amount of stuff. Thankfully, our warehouse doesn't have a ton of stuff in it. Um, definitely not a lot of jerky because again, we're sold out. Um, there's a couple boxes of hats and hoodies and t-shirts, but again, we're like, well, what if we just do a mystery sale? That way you guys get some really cool stuff, maybe even some one-off samples. Um, you get them 40% off and we don't have to move it. I mean, it's a win-win in my opinion. So that's the update on the storefront, a really long-winded update, but I want, I owed you guys a legitimate explanation how we got from, yes, we're going to open a storefront here to, we are going to be moving to technically another town with two new buildings and have to rebuild a new storefront and we got to start basically all over and so the entire warehouse right now has to come down be boxed up moved out to the other buildings with that being said let's get to moving
to the new warehouse, ladies and gentlemen. We officially made it. It is time to get the pallet racks installed. So you saw, tore down everything at the old warehouse. We've got a little bit of jerky left for that moving sale. So remember, link down below if you guys wanna go check it out. But we brought all the pallet racking plus new pallet racking. I mean, when, we, when I say we doubled the space, we absolutely doubled the space. Behind me, we can't show you a whole lot. We'll give you guys a full tour. There may or may not be a bar with a kegerator up there. Just saying, it was Banjo's request. But look at this, we got pallet racking for days, pallet racking on pallet racking on pallet racking. And you might be thinking, well, Flair, how are you gonna get it up so high? That's what this sucker's for. I'm forklift certified. <laughs> Yesterday, we got forklift certified, whipped it around, took a little test, easy peasy, passed with 100% accuracy. And so, this, is, it's, this isn't my forklift, this is a rental, okay? But, I'm, I'm gonna say it's mine, and I'm, I'm, gonna, just, I'm gonna put forklift certified in my Instagram bio. 100%. I feel like that'd give me a lot more followers, no? <laughs> operator. Op I'm operator, <laughs> big time operator, that's me. <laughs> All right, let's see if I remember how to do this thing. Yeah, yeah. Look out, oh, look God, out, yeah. buddy. Sheesh. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna pick this sucker up. Let's see if I still got it. Here we go, boys. Dude, this is like, sick. Look at this. This is way better than that little push thing we yeah, got. Yeah, no, this is the deal, boys. We're getting official now. Look at that. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, bud. Look at this sucker. Oh yeah, now we're cooking, now we're cooking. This is a terrible idea, I don't know why they gave us one of these. This is awesome. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun in this thing. Oh God, yeah. All right, remember the fork's gotta go down, and that thing's gotta go down, and back her up. Hire me, I'll run your warehouse. Operator. Big time operator, boys, that's me. Oh yeah. Well. Except we got a forklift, it's not mine, we rented it. But forklift, pallet racks, so we're not gonna do a full warehouse tour. There's there's a lot to this place. Should I, t should I tell them? It sure, there's a lot more there, than just a warehouse. There may or may not be a pond on the property. I'm just saying, that may or may not have fish in it. Just saying, you didn't hear it from me though. Let's build some powder. folks the pallet racking is officially and that means we are ready to make the move we didn't want to move everything here until we had the racking established everything is laid out we know exactly where everything's gonna go so everything that's currently in the old warehouse is now ready to be moved here you guys stay tuned
just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the warehouse is empty. Less than a year ago, almost almost a year to today, pretty close, okay? This thing was just like this when I bought it. And now it's back to its original state. Not even a year in, we outgrew the space and it is completely empty. You guys saw we loaded up multiple trucks, two minute truck, everything. They're all headed out to the new warehouse as we speak. I've got to jump in my truck. We got to get out there. We got forklifts ready to go, pallet racks ready to be things put on, I guess. If that makes... Anyway, you guys saw that. So uh, anyways, there it is. An end of a, a end of a chapter and on to bigger and better things. Everything in the office is gone. Matt's office is gone. Banjo's office is gone. The conference room is gone. The studio is gone. The storefront never really, that really didn't really happen, but it's gone. Now everything is completely gone and headed to the new building. We'll see you. Just like that, folks, we are officially moved into the new warehouse. Wow, bam. Look at all the goods. We well, we're, we actually don't have a lot of jerky, except we've got a semi-truck on the way. Any minute now, we're gonna open this door and we've got our brand new unreleased flavor. If you've made it to this part of the video, consider yourself a lucky individual because we're gonna be announcing, debuting, sneak peeking our brand new flavor. It's unreleased, it's, it's one of a kind, it's brand new. Okay, and we've got the semi coming and you're gonna see your boy run that little forklift and, and, and get, get things. I don't, I'm not sure if that's forklift certified, but uh, in this warehouse it is. What's going on there? We need to put these up on the wall. Oh God, yeah. Your old I, shop. I, I feel like that wall's real empty. Yeah, yeah. I think put, it'd look good. I think that would look nice. Yeah. So yes, we got everything moved. We got looks. So we got the the tables here, the conveyor belt. We got packing stations. I mean, we've got. We don't know where to put everything, but we've got decent idea. Again, you're gonna see a tour video at some point, but I'll, I'll give you just a little bit more. Just since you made it this long, you must be a homie. I'll give you a little bit more. We got. This little back room here, which is set up with some hat presses, okay? So you can we, we can actually like make our own hats, which is kind of cool. But yeah, our packing stations made it. This this little sombrero from that I got from Mexico, okay? That made it. Okay, of course, of course, the old live stream helmet made it. So we're getting everything kind of set up, situated, and uh, ready to go. But like I said, most importantly, we've got a brand new jerky shipment coming here any minute. That door's gonna open. We're gonna start forklifting out. We're gonna take it straight out of the box and stick the meat in our mouth. You guys stay tuned. Safety first, boys. Time to unload. Ooh. Yeah, who gave me the keys to this? Ooh. I'm getting good, boys. I'm getting real good. You gotta put this in there. Uh, it's my first day, don't expect much. That's how the professionals do it. It's my first day, so be with, bear with me here. <laughs> Not the fresh wrap. Uh-huh. Move it or lose it. How's that going? Full load. 
load coming in that. What do you got? You eating the necker, right? It's a secret. So amazing. There's a blue ball and everybody over there. What are you doing? <laughs> You're not telling them what it is. You know what I think you need for this? Yeah. I think you need your helmet with POV mode. I agree, dude. This. Dude, forklift POV would go so hard. I'd <laughs> watch that. Imagine we break this thing up. And yeah. <laughs> How many more of these you got? Huh? How many more you got? Last one. Oh, really? Oh, 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 really? Oh. Pull it back. There Drive backwards. That there you go. Here. That thing about hit me. Uh. <laughs> last one, boys. Here we go. The last load. That's enough work for the day. Yeah. That was a lot. That was like a third of a semi. And I feel like just I'm like flavor. mentally exhausted yeah. from that. But hey, here we go, boys. This is the moment of truth. Breaking it open. Banjo already tainted it a little bit. But dude, which one did he? Banjo, which box you open? No, no, what box? Partial. Oh, here we go. What, you can't share? No, I, I, want, I want a freshie. I don't want your tainted germs. All right, boys, this is the, this is the reveal. Banjo's been really blue balling you guys this whole time. Yeah, <laughs> so good. You can't smell it, but I wish you could. The boys ready. We are revealing the brand new, you ready? Pork Smokehouse Barbecue. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Smokehouse Barbecue, okay? You're talking about savory. You're talking about tender meat. Mmm. Oh my, oh my, uh-uh. Uh-uh, holy sh That's good. It's so good. Fresh off the press, boys? Yeah. Wow. Well, we're not coming out with it right now. Soon. Stay on the lookout for it. It will be available. We've got a, a sweet bundle we're coming out with that we think we're gonna debut it in, but wow. That's like, that's you, there's no jerky out there that tastes like no. that. Amazing. Mm. Top tier. Tastes like you just took it fresh off the smoker, boys. Well, as you saw, we made the move. We're moved in. We got a fresh flavor that we're gonna be announcing and a whole bunch more stuff from beef, cake, jerky. So, I had to keep this a secret for you guys for a little while, but I appreciate you guys' support. We went from storefront, the old place, to selling the old place, moving into a new place. We're still gonna have a storefront, and there's a bunch more surprises. And like I said earlier in the video, may or may not be a pond. So, you have to stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and peace.